Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's my favorite time, time to rank up, level up some champions. Uh, I try to keep it to two level up worth of rank up and level ups. So as you can see, we have a level up going on. It's almost over, and the next event is a cosmic combat. So that means we don't have to worry about double dipping. You can see that I didn't have any points in level up, which meant... There were no advancements or anything like that. But check this out. These are the new objectives. Okay, and I'm going to go through them for you. But we had a set of objectives that were bugged. And they were much worse than this. If you'll notice, you're going to get all of these done at the same time. And you just have to rank up a 3, 4, 5, or 6 star to do it. The previous ones they were separated out. So you had ones where you had to rank up three stars, one that you had to rank up four stars, one that you had to rank up five stars, and one that you had to rank up six stars. Those weren't good. For one, I don't really have any three stars to rank up. So that would have been an objective I couldn't even do. Okay, four stars, I do have some. I could have done that one, no problem. Five stars, same thing. I had this Nimrod that I just got. So I was waiting to just blow the five star one out of the water but then you had the six star one and i wasn't going to try to rank up one of my six stars just for the objectives that that was bad and not only that but people were not getting credit and just look at this look at this boom 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 it was bugged and they took it down and i was hoping that they would bring them back while level up was still on and they did and just that quick and easy i got all of them didn't have to rank up a three, a four, or a six star. Just that little bit. Uh, the other set of objectives, you didn't want to go past 10 because you didn't get credit. It didn't auto advance to the next one. So very happy. I don't think too many people can uh, legitimately complain because you always have people that complain. Uh, but they can't really legitimately complain about those new objectives. You know, we were talking about compensation, and all of that because some people ranked up and leveled up champions for the objectives and they didn't get any credit for it. And of course they were understandably upset. I tend to wait as you saw. And so I didn't have that issue because I wasn't ranking up or leveling up any champions for one outside of a level up and two, unless I could double dip, I was gonna wait till the end like you saw, okay? And you see I'm just popping because I need uh, some of these T3 uh, catalysts so I can continue ranking up Nimrod. But I got Nimrod from the arena, and honestly, he went high, but I don't know why exactly. Uh, I have not really looked into him. I'm not that impressed with what I've seen so far, but that doesn't mean he's not a great champion. It just means I don't know enough about him. Uh, I know that he's great against mutants. I don't even know why he's great against uh, mutants, you know, in the game, not in the lore of Nimrod. But, you know, I decided to go ahead and take him up. I, since I grind arena hardcore, every single five-star champion for me should go to rank three. And I have all of my five stars at rank three or higher. Just got him, now he is rank three. Now, here's the thing about um, me leveling him up right now, all right? I'm, I'm taking him all the way up to the max level. But just before this, I fully explored act six. A year later, but I finally got all the exploration done. And part of that, I got uh, a couple of rank up gems, uh, crystals, and uh, I believe it was from the uh, uh, exploration of Act 6, not the exploration of Variant 7. And I got two tech, three to four gems. They still are giving me tech, okay? You can see I already used one of them, and uh, that was in another uh rank up level up video and i don't have any 
text that I really want to rank up that I don't already have at at least rank four. You know, I could have done it with, you know, some other text, but at least this one, he's new. And so I don't know enough about him, but he'll be ranked four. I don't know if I'll take him to rank five. I don't have him as a six star, but for now, we'll park him at rank four. Maybe later I'll learn him and get to know why people went so hard for him and what's his deal. Because I still don't see uh, any, you know, videos or anything like that just talking about how awesome he is. I saw that with Hercules. I saw that with Shang-Chi. And I saw that with Kitty Pride, but I did not see that with Nimrod. So for right now, I'm going to assume that he is okay, you know, better against mutants than anything else, but that is it, okay? Uh, so for this first level up, that is what I did there. I took that Nimrod to rank four, okay? Now, if I go that high in score, I usually try to put up at least 130,000 points. So with that one rank up, we got close, okay? So now I'm looking around and I'm like, hmm, you know, you can see my catalyst here. I got a lot of them. Got a lot of T4 basics. Got a lot of T2 alphas. Even got some T1 alphas in the overflow. So I need to use those T2 alphas. Now, they're not going to expire anytime soon, but it would be a very bad decision to wait until the end. So I decided to take this guy up to rank four. I heard a lot of good things about him, and I've seen some videos about him, and I'm a Hulk fan. Now, the Hulks in this game, especially OG Hulk, they haven't done him right, okay? Now, I never knew anything about Immortal Hulk. Not in the comics. He came out after I had stopped reading comics. But when he first came out, you know, a lot of people were like, eh, you know, if you like that style, you know, he's all right. But we had one person, OPMG. Um, he's not streaming right now. He's serving. Uh, in another country right now, but he always loved Immortal Hulk. And he was championing Immortal Hulk. He would always use him anytime he did an incursion with a ghost dog. You'd see him wanting to use this Immortal Hulk. Well, the community finally came around to it. There's some content people were making with him that showed what a beast he could be. And so I was intrigued. Now, I don't have him as a six star. So the five star for this time went up to rank four. Maybe I'll take him to rank five. I don't know, but he is ready if I decide to do that. So that was the first level up. Okay. And you saw the final score for that level up. Now, check this out. We've got a cosmic advancement and a level up on at the same time. And this particular level up is unusual because we get three, count them, three advancements during this level up. So the first person I leveled up was a four star Black Bolt. I don't have Black Bolt as a five or a six star. And I like Black Bolt. I think he is really cool. Um, I've seen people put some synergies with him and really rock. Uh, Karate Mike showcased what uh, Black Bolt could do with the right synergies. And he has a great synergy with Medusa. Makes her even more of a beast. So that's why I chose to take him up. Now, there's another criteria that I have when it comes to four stars. You know, I'm already ready for six stars and, and all of that. And so people ask me sometimes, do you still rank up four stars? Yes. Yes, I do. Usually it's during an advancement and I'll take them up, but who I choose, I still run four stars in the arena. But these days I don't use anyone below 
rank four, and I don't even use all of my rank fours. I mean, I might do one or two rounds of rank fours. I mean, three of them or, or six, and that's it. Most of the time, it's just my maxed out five stars. And the more maxed out five stars I have, the less rank fours I'm going to use. So right now, as I'm taking up these four star champions to rank five, it means that I'm going to use them in the arena, which means one of the criteria is they have to, you know, be able to do some damage so that they're not slowing me down when I, you know, run them in the arena and they have to be pretty decent to use. Now, I run suicides, of course, all the time, but King Groot here, for example, he got a rework recently and so he does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. He is much improved over what he was. So that's why he went up. Now you see here, I told you what I, you know, like to try to put up for my scores. That goes for the level up. It goes for the advancement. It doesn't matter. Okay. So now I'm looking and I'm like, ho, ho, ho. I've got a lot of um, signature stones. So boom. Let's use those signature stones up. 32 of them. And as always, the server lags if you try to use too many. Uh, and I don't know what too many is. But you use too many for the server to be able to handle at once. So it chokes a little bit as it's trying to process it. Sometimes it glitches out. All right? But there. Boom. Um, she benefits from that. And she was already ranked 5. So that's why I chose her. All right? And there. We have 144,000 in the Cosmic Advancement. So we're good, okay? But, of course, I'm not done. We have a Cosmic Advancement, and I had a couple of uh, two-stars that weren't awakened. So that's why I use those uh, two-star Awakening Gems. Got nowhere else to use them. And if I wait too long, I might get them a second time, dupe them, awaken them naturally, and I'm stuck with those when I could have used them for some, you know, points. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm not really looking so much for who would benefit, but I'm looking for who I have at the highest, because these are just two stars. So what I'm trying to do is I want to max out my two stars as fast as possible. So like you see there, we've got Hyperion at 24. And I'm looking around, I wish they did something you know, maybe put it somewhere on their portrait, uh, how, what their SIG level was. That would be so helpful. But at this point, Hyperion is the highest, so boom, dumped all of those into him. And I'll just keep doing that until he's maxed out. Then I'll go for the other one that was, I believe, at 10 and, you know, pump them up. Usually that happens because I didn't have one of them at that time, and so I was putting stuff into them. Then I got another champion. All right. And so we were at 145,000. That's what I was kind of pushing for because we had 144. I was like, you know what? 145 is nicer. So here we go. Another advancement. Science this time. I'm like, whoo, boy, we are rocking with these advancements. They're trying to make up for all the advancements we didn't see during a level up. So at this point, I'm like, hmm, who do I have that's a science? that I want to take up, you know? Now, I when I was looking for a three-star for those objectives, I discovered that I had Spider-Man 2099 still at rank three. And I hadn't even realized it. I thought all my three-stars were maxed out. But there he was. I had stopped at um, rank three, probably during an advancement or a level up, where I didn't need to take him all the way up to get my target score. All right. Now, at this point, I'm just trying to speed things up. So I want to sell the uh, gray ISO. Don't really like using those. That way I can just grab more. But see, I know there's a science advancement on. So I know that Spider-Man 2099 is not the only one that I'm going to take up. So now I'm trying to think, you know, what are the chances that we get a mystic advancement, you know, during this level up? You know, so I'm thinking, OK, let's sell some ISO you know, sell some of the Mystic ISO and uh, we'll have a little bit more space 
so that when we do the claim max and then go back to the other one, it just goes a little bit faster. Okay, that's the only reason for that. And I generally do not have ISO problems. All right. So here we go. Take him the rest of the way. Now all of my three stars are maxed out. Okay. Um, but we're not done. You know, that is definitely not enough to get us to my target score. So now I'm at the four stars and I'm thinking again, who am I going to take up? that I want to use in the arena. Spider-Ham is one. You know, he is fun. Now, I do have him as a five-star and as a six-star. I think I have him as a six-star. Yeah. So, he is fun. Okay? I don't use him a lot, but in the event quest, oh, man. The one variation where it was uh, Power Sting, you know, if you had a Power Sting on them or something like that, it did like 300% more damage. I mean, it was crazy. I brought him in. I brought Mr. Fantastic in. I brought She-Hulk in. And we tore that path up. I started with him and I used him for several fights. And he just killed it. Didn't even really need Mr. Fantastic synergy. All right. But anyway, my reasoning for ranking these up, as I said before, is... Who do I want to use when I'm in the arena? Now, Abomination, Immortal Abomination, he is fun to use. He's not the fastest killer, but for the purposes of arena, it's nice to have someone who's poison immune, you know, in case they throw, you know, some, you know, a set of champions at you where you need a poison immune, you know, uh, they've done that before for uh, to me. So we've got Spider-Ham, he's at rank five, and we've got Immortal Abomination, he's at rank five, and I'm doing a little bit, you don't see me often do this because I have so much ISO, and you saw I was about to go get one of the lower ISOs, and then I said, you know what, I got plenty of ISO. So I just went ahead and, you know, did a little bit of inefficiency, all right? So we're at 107. Still not there yet. Okay, so now I'm looking over and I'm like, okay, do I have another four star that I want to take up? Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. We've got Spider Ham 2099 and he's only ranked three. Let's do it. All right, so we took Spider, uh, uh, Spider Man 2099 up to rank four that did not use any of the, uh, you know, um, tier four class catalyst because I've been hitting them a little bit hard, right? And I'm trying to be a little bit careful, you know, unless I get a, a science champion that I really want to take up. So there we go. We're at 139. So we're past our target goal. You know, uh, now you saw that we were almost at 140. I'm that way. Seeing 139 irks me a little bit. But I'm looking here to see if there's any way that I can get 140. So we've got some two stars, uh, uh, six stones here, right? And I'm doing the same thing that you saw me do before, looking through to see who's highest. Okay, we've got Red Hulk there. All right, he's at 26. There we go. You know, it'd be so much easier if they did that. Just made a little indication, little number somewhere. So I use those two stars. And now I'm looking at the five stars. Who do I want to use those few six stones on? Well, uh, uh, Immortal Abomination is at 180. Now, a rule. If you cannot take your champion all the way to SIG 200 as a five star, then don't take him past 180. Why? Because the next dupe you get will give him 20 levels and he'll be maxed out regardless of what you put into him. So anything that you put in, like say I got him all the way to like 195, then I duped him. I wasted all those six stones. So instead, I put him into Spider-Ham, who, like I said, is fun. And now 
I'm at 144, which is close to 145. But I was like, you know what? Let's let's leave it. Let's leave it at that. Um, because I, I can just keep on going, because then I'd be like, who do I want to rank up now? So we left it. And look at this. Remember what I said earlier? What are the chances that we get a mystic advancement as I was selling my ISO? Did you see how much time we had left? So let me tell you a little story, okay? As I'm ranking up, I'm ranking up Tigra, okay? She's a good champion. She has a high skill cap. I may use her, um, but by the time you see this video, you'll know that there is a another champion that I took all the way up, maxed out, that has a synergy with her that makes her insanely good. So Tigra, good in her own right, but I chose to take her up. I have a ton of those T2 alphas, so she went to rank four. Now, the story is, uh, this past Sunday, I took my sister to Olive Garden for her birthday. Her birthday was last week. Um, man, Olive Garden is expensive. Uh, but we we went there, and I was expecting to be able to get online and do this level up. I'd record it on the uh, iPad and do some leveling up because I didn't know what the next event, you know, the next uh, event was. So I was going to um, just do that rank up, no matter what, and then you know, do the, if there was an advancement, do that one. Okay. Um, boom. We took up a uh, four star Scarlet Witch, Sigil Witch. Uh, we're, we're about to get the six star version of her. Uh, but in any case, we were going to leave at 5 p.m. That was the original plan. That's also the time that I would have known what the next event was. And then we would have had until about six o'clock for me to level somebody up. Fortunately, we left early. I decided, you know, let's try to go early, okay? Otherwise, I would have been frantic because I wouldn't have been able to do my level up because I don't know why, but I could not get online. Olive Garden's online. Now my sister could on her iPad, but mine couldn't. I don't know why, maybe it was a ban, maybe, you know, they just didn't support it, whatever. But fortunately, we were able to get back home and I was able to ramp uh, rank up these champions. Now, you don't see that other rank up, but by this time, you already know who it is, Mystery Rank Up Theater. But in case you watch this out of order, I'm not going to say who it was I ranked up. But I ranked them up before I did this. Because once I saw that there was a Mystic Advancement, I'm like, okay, there's no reason for me to wait for this other one, which wasn't a Mystic. So... I just went ahead, did that one, and you saw how much time we had left. And so I, I already, after I ranked that champion up, I went through and already made my decisions on who I was going to take up. That way I wasn't trying to figure it out while time was ticking down, you know? And look at that. Mystic Advancement, we got our target score over 130,000. And look at that level up. So that score... I'm like, man, I don't usually put up that kind of a score for uh, level up. And here is the results. I started doing this so you guys could see how I ranked. You know, these are all top 10%. 281 for the Cosmic Advancement, 123 for Science, and then rank 51 for the level up. And then you see Mystic Advancement down there. We got rank 54. Now, I've gotten rank 51 even when I've put up like 200 and something, now I put up 300 and something, I was kind of surprised that I, I didn't rank higher than that for this level up. But it is what it is. I don't think you get anything really special. My main goal are those uh, tier four class catalyst crystals. That's what I want from uh, uh, the top 10%. And for the uh, combat and, and um, mystic advancements, I want that selector, that T4 basic selector over there. And uh, I always choose uh, the T4 basics, always. Because uh, you can select, I forget what, el what else you can select, but I always select the T4 basic fragments because I'm always needing, even though I have a ton of them now, 
I know that eventually I'm going to be using those up like you see me doing and won't have enough T4 basics. Uh, but in any case, that is going to do it for this rank up level up Palooza. You know, that is two level up worth of rank up and level ups. And I had fun. I love doing this. All right. So take care. Uh, probably in the next video that you see, we'll have Sigil Witch as a six star. We'll just level her up to uh, rank 25. Not going to take her too much up, which means you'll see her in the next video. Uh, if I was going to actually rank the six star, that gets its own video. So she'll go up to, you know, level 25 and then whoever else uh, I have uh, to take up because I'm running out. Uh, fun fact, I don't have any four stars that are mystic that are rank three or below. All of my four stars that are mystic are rank four and up. That's why you saw me just taking them up to rank five because every mystic is at least rank four. So that was the only thing I could do unless I wanted to rank up uh, some five stars or some six stars. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.